Okay, hi. Uh, my name's Adrian, and this is my first video tutorial. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at PDAs or personal data assistance, I believe, personal data assistance in uh, Doom 3 and how to <laughs> manipulate them and, and, and change them and do some things with them. First off, uh, what I've done with Doom 3, just load it up. Go past that. I've created a small mod called test mod which I've, I've been fiddling around with anyway but um, just just experimenting uh, no, none of that's relevant right now um, basically it's just so that I don't have to mess around with the base Doom 3 folder so that um, problems won't arise later on if I accidentally change anything so if we load that mod up to the editor, editor, open PDA test which I made earlier, uh, there's some PDAs on the floor which I need to delete because I was messing around with them earlier. Okay, okay right, now first things first just build a room, basic just build a room, there's plenty of tutorials on it four or five at least it's very simple put a light and a player start nothing fancy and click somewhere on the map go to item PDA make sure it's on the floor um, and then space and duplicate one over here basically the reason we need two is because when you first pick up a PDA it's gonna be the personal PDA your Marines you as the player, personal PDA, with all your uh, emails, videos, um, and all that kind of stuff in it. That's why we need two. We need the second one to belong to someone else. For example, the first one, we can go, we can, if we drag this up, go to Entity, or you can press N on the keyboard. Um, go into GUI, because even though that's GUI, even though it's a PDA as as an item, it it's got uh, a screen on it, which isn't actually displaying any information. So we need to go base GUIs, graphical user interfaces, and where you have stored all the different uh, heads up displays, user interfaces, and stuff for lifts and all that sort of thing. So we're just going to go down to PDA. PDA world, click OK. Now, if we hit escape, select our other PDA, uh, and then do the same thing. Go to GUI, um, this one, PDA world, click OK. Escape for that. Um, now, this PDA we don't need to name because it's going to be the default PDA anyway. So, what we want to do now is click on the secondary one we made, the second one, move it up a bit. Um, what we need to do is we need to name it, we need to give the PDA a name. So give it PDA name in the key and a value of John Maverick. That will do. The name of, uh, of who, the P who this PDA belonged to. Um, press enter, make sure that goes in, yeah it's gone in um, that's about all we need the editor for for now if I just quickly save that BSP it no errors, that's good press F2 to come back to do and then go to PDA test no sorry, map PDA test. Uh, wait for it to load up. It should load. I uh, didn't see any errors when it compiled. Uh, just to show you that when we pick up the unnamed um, PDA, uh, this will come up. I don't know if you can actually get rid of this. This is your PDA, your basic PDA that you can access throughout the game. 
you don't start with one when you create custom maps so you have to put them in it's got your name player ID number location is at the moment unidentified because this room doesn't have um, it doesn't have a location name uh, rank marine security and your security clearance level which at the, m at the moment is marine HQ your user emails are the one you start uh, are the ones that will be in your PDA when you start the game um, same for video discs and that's it when we go over to the other one see so look at the the GUI that we um, put onto the screen you can see it there uh, if you can see it you pick that up wait for it to load press tab to access our PDA now it's called default PDA because we haven't assigned a .pda file to it to handle user emails and um, audio logs and that sort of thing so all this stuff is blank at the moment um, so what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of Doom 3 we're going to lower down the editor we're going to go into our Doom 3 base folder just program files Doom 3 base we're going to load up pack 000 the pk4 file which you can open up with uh, winzip or winrar uh, i'm using winrar at the moment now if you look around here you should see one called new pdas so you need to you need to go over to your mod folder if you're uh, putting pdas in a mod if not you can just put it in the base folder you can put a new folder called new pdas in the base folder and it should work the the base doom 3 folder so now if we open this up we're gonna get any random person's PDA file and drag it in but what we're also gonna get just to show you you can mess around with it is the personal PDA dot PDA file this is your Marines personal PDA um, and all the data for it. These .pda files will open with Notepad. So if you haven't already associated them with Notepad, you will get a little window saying, um, uh, "Do you want to search the internet for a program that can open this file?" Just click Browse and find Notepad. Um, now, because these came from the pack file, they've got all sorts of annotations and stuff to read, and um, it's quite long and strange. And at first glance these do look quite scary uh, ooh, it's code don't quite fancy that but you can, you can get the hang of it in seconds I mean I, I've got no coding experience whatsoever and I, I, I picked this up in, in literally seconds um, all this stuff at the top is just you can basically just ignore that that's um, just notes um, now the PDA is called personal that is your personal PDA. Um, shouldn't really change the name of the personal. The name is in blue, personal. Full name is the character's full name, which at the moment will be the player or unidentified marine. The icon, which is the little thumb thing, uh, I'll show you that later on, which is, is called GUI PDA slash bio1. The identification or the ID is just a number with uh, some stuff uh, you can change that to anything you want although I wouldn't really suggest changing the personal one just out of uh, my preference I mean you can if you want you can change all this stuff although I wouldn't change that because I'm not entirely sure what it does I haven't looked into it yet uh, post is where you're posted um, for the personal PDA this is ignored so take note that's ignored the title uh, or rank for you, uh, marine security. Security uh, only set if it contains a new security clearance. As far as PDA and HUD goes, it is informational only. Okay, now you've got two emails and a video, which will, which are, if we can get them up. Hmm, the video's gone apparently. Um, oh, that'll be located somewhere else, I believe unless I've uh, accidentally edited this before I don't think I have anyway let's delete the second email and 
delete the email and PDA video entries. I'll um, do a little section about uh, audio logs later on. Uh, okay, so the first PDA email, or it's called personal, so email, personal, funny little brackets. Now the first parameter is date, 11, 15, 21, 45. Um, now, if you do change this so that a message is coming from the future or from 2146, it will actually screw up the email. You can't receive uh, emails from the future. So I I try not to mess around with the dates because um, it has caused me a lot of problems. And basically, when you load up the PDA, you'll just get a block that says... Uh, when, you, when you load up the email, it'll just have five five and five in the three different windows at least that's what it did for me last time uh, then you've got two which is where the email is coming to so or in this case let's change it to anyone that will read it uh, it's coming from a monkey and the subject is I don't know I don't know. Uh, now these are the lines of text, all of which start with speech, start and end with speech marks. Uh, you can put backslash n in to create a new line. So if we delete some of this and go text on a monkey uh, stop backslash n backslash n for two new lines. Enter new speech marks. What are you? Uh, speech marks that'll do. And if we file save as new PDAs personal dot PDA, save it. Uh, yep, we want to overwrite it. Um, basically, you have to make sure it saves as a dot PDA and not a dot PDA dot text as Notepad sometimes does. In this instance, it hasn't. It's a .pda file. Now, if we go back into Doom Editor, we can uh, load up. I think we've still got it selected. Yep. PDA name John Maverick. The name of the .pda file has to correspond to the name of the um, the PDA name in the editor. So this has to be John underscore Maverick. Uh, I'm not sure if the case of the letters has to be the same but I'm going to keep it the same just in case uh, now this also has to be the same as this John Maverick Let's just copy it copy paste um, this is the guy's name so this will what will come up in the name box this is the full name so I just paste John Maverick back in there this is the little bio icon that comes up. Uh, now the ID is this guy's ID. So let's give him an ID of, I don't know, 6543321. That'll do. Uh, let's give him a post of medical officer. And a title of doctor. That'll do. Doctor. Uh, now the security is what security level uh, you will obtain when you pick up the PDA. Um, apparently this guy had Alpha Lab. Ooh, interesting. Uh, so if we delete that, if we leave that as blank, I'll explain some more about that um, later on. Possibly even in another tutorial. Uh, now this guy has lots and lots of um, audio and emails. He's got three emails and two audios. Um, I don't have a custom audio file prepared so I will um, talk to you about audio files later. For now, to avoid any confusion, I'm just going to select from from here, audio, all the way to the bottom, delete, and pick the two audio files and also delete those. Now. I don't really need any excess emails to cause even more confusion. So I'm going to delete email 
bank uh, admin banks email two and three. Um, now we're going to call this one the PDA email number one, the first email that comes up in the PDA. We're going to call it Maverick Mail. Just in case it makes a difference, I don't think it does. Maverick Mail one, which then has to be copied over to there. Now the date. As I mentioned earlier, if you put it from the future, it will screw up. Um, so I'm not going to change the date. To Mr. Maverick. Mr. Maverick. From, I don't know, Mars Holidays. Subject. Give it some text. Speech marks. Dear Dr. Maverick. Backspace N, backspace N. Speech marks. Tab over. Speech marks. You have won a trip to hell. Courtesy. Of ID software. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and then let's put a stop there. Try and um, keep my grammar within reasonable limits. Save it as John Maverick dot PDA in the new PDA's file. In oh, no, don't need a new folder, do we? Delete that. In test mod, new PDAs, save. It already exists, so yeah, we'll replace it. Come out of this, uh, and then we should have John Maverick and personal in our PDAs folder in our test mod, new PDAs, and our PDA files. Now, if we come back over to here, save it, BSP it, compile. No errors, that's good. F2, don't want to exit the game. Bring up the console, go to map, PDA, test. Now it should load our custom emails and things. Now this is the uh, little, oh, just get past this again. If anyone knows how to get rid of this um, and they can tell me, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, this is the little biometric, the bio, um, GUI bio thing that we were, that I mentioned earlier. Um, I didn't change any of the clearance or anything, so that all remains. However, you should have an email. No, I know the reason. Um, okay, yep. Right, I screwed up. Do three doesn't refresh. Um, or it doesn't reload all the stuff uh, while you're still in it, so I have to close Doom 3. I have to close Doom 3, come back out, reload test mod, and reload the PDA test map. So if we go console map PDA test load, should work this time. If not, I've done something horribly, horribly wrong and I'll have to correct it but I don't think I have done anything horribly wrong at least I hope not anyway get rid of this damn thing yes I know my PDA is critical to my work at the UAC too bad for you I already quit so we should have an email from a monkey with the subject of I don't know I'm a monkey what are you? If we come out of this tab button pick up our other one that should be from John Maverick. You can see it's called John Maverick down the bottom there. Uh, go down to John Maverick, John underscore Maverick in this case. Um, we left his security clearance blank and the default security clearance, if you leave it blank, is general access. But you can see he's got our 6543-21 our, um, 
ID number and the name there, John underscore Maverick, uh, medical officer, doctor. He doesn't have any audio logs because we deleted those. Um, Mars Holidays, trip to hell. Dear Dr. Maverick, you've won a trip to hell courtesy of ID software. So our email works. Um, I think that's about long enough for one tutorial. Uh, I think it's a little bit too long as it is. I made a few mistakes. Um, but that's good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up there. And in the next tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to add audio files to your PDAs. And um, we're going to do a little bit with security clearance. Um, we're going to load up an area. We're going to make a door that needs security clearance to get past. And we're going to. Um, uh, make a PDA that gives us the security clearance so we can get past that door. Um, if I hadn't already said so, I'm going to mention audio files as well. And I might mention video files, although I have to put some more research into that. Um, thanks very much for uh, listening, watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I hope you learned something. As, uh, as have I.